So yes, even beauty gurus have bad hair days. And a bad hair day just basically means that you've woken up and you're not quite feeling your hair. There's loads of different reasons for it. Um, sometimes it might just be in your head, sometimes it might be a reflection of your mood, but there's loads and loads of different reasons. And I'm here to talk to you today about what I would do if I'm having a bad hair day. So today for me is a little bit of a bad hair day. My hair just kind of feels a bit gross. It doesn't look its usual self. and I'm just not overly happy with how it looks. So what I tend to do is I'll tend to just, if I've got a lot of time and I need to look amazing, I'll get in the shower and I'll wash it and blow dry it and straighten it because that kind of always guarantees a good result versus curly hair that kind of has a mind of its own. So that's what I'll do if I've got enough time. But I'm going to show you today what I would do on a normal day where I haven't really got time and I'm not going anywhere special so I don't want to put that much effort into it. I'll spray some texturizing spray. This is my latest obsession which is the TG um, salt spray. I'll spray a little bit of that into my hair and just kind of give it a little bit more texture. Now sometimes that's enough to kind of bring it back to life and it kind of looks okay. I would probably go out with it like this now. But if I'm still not happy with what it looks like, it does have to go up. And I'll tend to kind of put it up in a clip. So there's different types of doing this. Sometimes what I'll do is I will just grab all my hair. So kind of grab it into a messy kind of bun on the top of my head, twizzle it round once, and then just kind of grab the ends, twizzle them a little bit, but you've still got that kind of bulky bit in the middle. And then just kind of make a messy sort of beehive on the top of my head. So something like that. And just kind of fix it until I'm happy with how it looks and secure it and just kind of leave it at that. Something sort of messy and undone, but obviously a little bit more done than this. And then just stick a clip in the back of it and play with it until I'm content with how it looks and I feel like it's okay. So something like that I would put my hair up. But another thing I would do is put my hair up in a donut. And this is just a small donut. Um, you can get the large ones. There's different places you can get them from. I got this one I think from my local pound shop but I'm going to use the smaller one today. And what I would do with this is again just tilt my hair up and it's good if you've put some texturizing spray in it because what happens is it just helps to give your hair a little bit more body and it just looks better. And then I'll kind of spread it around the donut and start pulling random sections of hair into it. And there's no kind of set method of doing this. I, with most things I tend to kind of think that the messier the better. And I will just kind of tuck it in and then maybe leave kind of a couple of strands hanging out but not tons and just keep kind of playing with that until I'm happy with how that looks. I'm kind of okay with how this one looks right now. Maybe some of the front could do with being a little bit more in there. But something like that um, I would be pretty happy with and it's not too um, big and bold. Whereas if I'd used a bigger um, donut then if you're having a bad hair day I feel like it kind of affects a bit of your confidence anyway. So I wouldn't like to have a really big bold hairdo. So I will just kind of then secure it with a clip. These types of small clips are the best to use for that kind of thing because it secures it but it's not too obvious. And I'll just kind of stick that clip in there and then just kind of make it a little bit messy around the side. So kind of scrunch that up, roughen up a little bit of this part, pull down some kind of bits here and kind of the baby hairs because I love that look when you're wearing your hair up. So kind of like a little bit of a not a fringe but just kind of the little baby hairs and then I'd probably sort of secure with some bobby pins a little bit of the kind of really frizzy parts but that is how I would do it if I wasn't feeling it and the thing you've got to remember is a bad hair day I know it sounds really over dramatic but it does really really affect your confidence and it affects how you feel and if you don't feel like you look good you tend to be a little bit of a miserable person that day so it's not something that um, is really unusual, but I totally, totally understand that it can affect your mood and you might not want to kind of be as outgoing as you normally would be. But I feel like it's better to kind of just get your hair out of the way if you're not feeling it because then it's kind of up and it's done and you don't have to think about it. Whereas if it's down, you kind of can touch it and you can see it more and it'll just kind of bring it to the front of your mind a little bit more, which I don't like. So I hope this was helpful for you. I know it's just kind of like a quick chatty rambly video, but this is how I do deal with a bad hair day and I'd love to know how you deal with a bad hair day and what your kind of methods are and if it does ruin your day a little bit as well so I'd love to know and I will see you soon bye